Yes, guys, you guessed it. Today, we are working on the C8 Corvette. We are gonna knock this wide body kit out. Let's get into it. So guys, if you remember, when we last worked on this, we sanded these down past the fiberglass. And the reason why we did that is because we wanted the perfect curve. We want this thing to meld perfectly with that beautiful girl out there. And in order to do that, we had to sand it past the point of return. Now, if you remember, we bought fiberglass and we're gonna create more fiberglass beneath that and sand it down to make it smooth and flat. That's what we're working on today. We're gonna try and get to where we prime everything as well so that we have it ready for paint. Now it's been so long, I don't even know if that's what's in here anymore at this point, but it should be the fiberglass that I ordered. And yes, fiberglass cloth, this is it guys. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a four to one epoxy resin and then put this fiberglass on these pieces right here, like how you see inside there. So I actually picked this up from fiberglass. I paid full price. I didn't get any of these on discount. I just got the stuff. The reviews were amazing. You can use this for carbon fiber. And this is actually what we're gonna be using for the carbon fiber that we end up doing in the future. But you can also use it for fiberglass. So it works perfect for that. So let's get mixing this and start applying it onto here and get it in all the crevices and fill this in. I just wanna fill this up with as much fiber mesh as possible. And we've cleaned it all out. We've wiped it down. Let's get going. Okay, so we got the four parts in here. Now we're gonna get this one open. So we mix this up and we got about 20 minutes before it hardens. This should be pretty good. I'm just gonna use this simple brush. I'm gonna have to throw this brush away anyway and dab it inside here, like so. So literally guys, all I'm doing is just trying to build this back up so that we can sand it and have a solid piece inside here since it's so thin. Disappears in here, guys. I put in, I put like seven or eight layers already, and it just keeps on disappearing. It's so thin that it just eats it up. We're just layering and layering and layering as much as we can get in here. And I'm actually gonna have some kind of overlap here, which is fine, because <clears throat> we can always sand it down again, you know? get on the other one. This one's pretty much done, at least for now. Let's get that next one going. So this one, guys, is even worse. There's way more that needs to be filled in here. We even have some of the metal bracket showing. So a lot going on here. Thankfully, it's colder, so it's taking longer to dry, but I'm still running out of time. Some of these I'm gonna fold because I just need to get this built up because it is not, it takes so much to build this up. Okay, well it's already hard in the bottom there. And it's hot, very hot, oh my gosh. So hot that steam was coming off of it. Even though it's a little colder, it did stop it from drying so quickly, 
but it still flashed like within the last couple of minutes. It just went really quick. So yeah, we'll uh, let this dry and probably get some more on there because we still have quite a bit to do. We got most of this done, but that still has a huge chunk. That was almost like half an inch that we dug into. So there's gonna be a lot of repair still on that one. Let's take a look over here at this one. This one's doing pretty good. Yeah, it's still wet. It's drying. I'll put it up here so that they both can dry. So there we go. So guys, we got the layers of fiberglass on here. Looks good. It's uh, totally dry. It's been, I've let it dry for like 48 hours. And we are gonna go ahead and sand that down and get it going so we can start priming and getting this taken care of. It is so much stronger. I put so much more in there. And so, yeah, this thing is gonna be not coming apart. And honestly, I couldn't be happier. This worked out perfect. And uh, yeah, so it really strengthened it. I'm just gonna chop some of this um, stuff hanging off here and we will be good. As you can see, here's some of the new fiberglass, but it is all smooth and beautiful, and it's looking good, guys. We got all that filled in, and it's even probably stronger than it was before. We put like 20 layers, as you can see. There's a ton of layers right there of fiberglass in there to make it even stronger than it was before. It's a little heavier. I can tell that there's a little bit of weight to it, but it is still lighter than we actually bought it from the very beginning because we've shaved so much off. So anyways, guys, let's move on to the next part. Okay guys, so we got her all wiped down. She is ready to go. We got everything sanded nice and smooth and we're gonna hit her with some primer and see how she turns out. Let's uh, finally, finally get on with this. Okay guys, we hit her with a single coat. We're gonna do another coat in about 10 minutes. It's looking pretty good. Everything came out really nice and smooth. I just did a lighter coat. Okay guys, time for round two. This will be the second coat. Here we go.
Okay guys, the second coat turned out banging. We'll let it sit for about another 10, 15 minutes. She's coming together. Here's the last coat. We were able to get the sanding and priming knocked out for the C8 Corvette. So now all we have left to do with the C8 Corvette is to sand that prime down, put paint on it, and put a 2K clear coat. And that's what we're gonna do for the next C8 Corvette update, guys. Also, the only thing we have received is the wishbone suspension for the Jaguar F-Type R. Unfortunately, we are still missing the brake line, and unfortunately, we are still missing the right-hand side axle tie rod. I have not been able to drive my C8 Corvette since we started doing this project again. And uh, I don't know about you, but I am literally going through C8 withdrawals. It is driving me nuts. So, and I can't wait to get the Jaguar F-Type R going because honestly, I want to drive that. I still haven't gotten to drive it, minus, you know, backing it up into the shop. And uh, we have everything except for those two parts that we're still missing now. So guys, if there is one thing you can do for me and I would really appreciate it, smash that like button. By crushing that like button, it gives me a good indicator that you guys enjoy the content and I'll work harder to get you guys better. Also guys, if you have any ideas or suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments below. I really appreciate everything you guys do, and I appreciate all the information you've given me. You guys are awesome. So anyways, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video.